Look how amazing the lighting is, Wes. What's the thing? Oh, goodness. Yeah. Like, you walk past me. So I am at the door. Alright, then no time to wait. What's up? It's Danny out of Bunsters. Yo, Bunsters. So, anyway, um, we're here to talk about Bruce Felt, Ace Detective. Newest short suspense comedy film by us. New motion picture. New motion picture in anyway. black and white. So, we filmed this video in an hour, okay? A little One over hour. an hour. Not even to an hour and a half. It was just a little over an hour, which is really hard to do because when you shoot anything with dialogue, it always takes longer because you gotta get the takes right. That would have been good. How was this? What's my line? If it's got action, that's a little easier because you don't have to worry about talking. As long as your characters are performing correctly and not messing up stunts and things, it works fine. So anyway, that was just kind of a record for us because we shot this video insanely fast and it was kind of a challenge. We're basically like, we filmed the video the day before that was going to be out in a little bit, but this video, it was the morning of, we were at a hotel in Lake Tahoe, California. We're like, let's just try it. Let's just see if we can do it. So we filmed this thing as fast as we could and we shot it backwards pretty much. Like the part where he's walking in the door, that part uh, we filmed all the way up to the end from there. And then on the way out, we filmed the door scene and we filmed all the leading up, him walking up to the door and then the establishing shot afterwards because we are on our way out and it was the only way we could film it in time. We filmed it really quick and we almost made the entire thing up as we went. <laughs> we don't really necessarily think this video is our best work or anything, but we think it was fun. Because we wanted to try a little 20s gangster thing because Wes wanted to try to make a murder mystery, but we knew we didn't have time to flesh out any story like that. So we're like, let's just try something a little more, uh, less distracting than this. Also, fun fact, I lost my voice numerous times yeah. throughout the, the voicing over of it. Which, by the way, the voiceovers are done at a different time. So the actual shooting, like, of the, um, of the actual motion picture, that was done in under an hour, but the voiceovers were done at a different time. Yeah. Blasting strike. So the main underlying thing in this video was the insane amount of references we made to other things. So in the real world, we call that parody. So just so you know. Um, all right, the title of the video, Bruce Phelps, Ace Detective, has three alone. Now the first one... Hello, my name is Bruce Phelps, Ace Detective. Swear to me, swear to me. If you didn't catch on, obviously he's copying Christian Bale's Batman, which is the Bruce part, Bruce Wayne, and Bruce Phelps, Ace Detective. And this then is the right Phelps Gotham, or got right for Gotham, Gotham City, City came right out. before Dark Knight Rises came out, so we're in like Batman mode. And the hey, Phelps, the Phelps comes from Cole Phelps from L.A. Noir. L.A. Noir, so... If you don't know, he's the detective, lead protagonist, main character in the game, and he's a detective. So, a detective with a Bruce Wayne Jeez, voice is Bruce Phelps. <laughs> That's, I mean, that part's pretty easy to figure out. And th there's a few people that figured out the ace detective, and it's Phoenix Wright, ace attorney. Ace attorney. That's the joke. Objection! That's the joke. Hey, so, that's where Bruce my Phelps, accent ace used to ace detective live. is actually three titles crammed in one. Bruce Wayne, Cole Phelps, Phoenix okay. Wright, ace detective, ace attorney. <laughs> the second one, Step is aside, civilian. There's no time to waste. You're not even dressed like a detective. Can I see some credentials? Step aside, civilian. There's no time to waste. I got that from Aaron. Yeah, Aaron says that all the time. Shout it's out like, to Aaron. It's a joke, you think? Aaron caught it. Um, that was the main joke there. Okay, so when I was little, I cracked my head open. It, it's kind of a comedy law that you can make fun of something once you've done it, or if it applies to you. And you have to be able to have done it or are that to make fun of it. So I've cracked my head open, so I don't even feel bad about this joke. I was gonna crack this case open wider than a little kid's skull after slipping on wet pavement. The other one is when we're at the door and I'm like, aren't you a little young to be a detective? Yes, yes I am. That part's a joke to Phineas and Ferb West watches that he came up with that. Pure. So the running joke in that show is, I've seen enough to know this one, is that they're always doing these crazy inventions and stuff and people are like, are you a little young to be doing whatever they're doing? And they're like, yes, yes we are. So that's the joke on that one. Yes. Yes. The other one when he walks in the bathroom and says, <laughs> That part is obviously, it's like a parody and it has no musical, any comparability. It's nothing at all like the actual one, but it's easy to figure out because he's doing the same pattern like, uh, uh, Okay, uh, they, they understand, thing. but it was, it was off of the old Batman. 16 theme. Batman. Huh? Great googly moogly. Great googly moogly. Okay, that, that was one. another Phineas and Ferb reference from Major Monogram. Uh. There's my ride. 
Okay, and that ending part, anyone that's a true Spongebob fan would know that's a joke off the ending of Pickles. Where, Bubble bass. Where Spongebob keeps thinking he's doing it right, and the guy's been hiding the pickles under his tongue. And yeah. there's the pickles from last time, too. And, and there's my car, car keys. keys. And there's my ride. And then he runs out. That's the joke there. So, that's really all of the references, except for, and the obvious, you know, it's classic 20s, black and white. You don't even look like you have any Step aside, sir. There's no sign. <laughs> there's no sign. Step aside, civilian. There's no are you the detective they sent? <laughs> Are you the detective they sent? <laughs> I fail.